right then, welcome to another ride in time on uh, Revelator Alf. So, heading out onto the uh, trails again, uh, and heading out to um, a very famous area in the southern England called uh, Watership Down, and it sits right on top of a, on the side of a, uh, a ridge line, and it's, uh, it's um, the setting for the very famous book by Richard Adams, called Watership Down, which is about the story of uh, um, you know a bunch of rabbits, and they, uh, they had adventures and everything. And it was later made into a film, an animated film, and the, uh, the theme song, Bright Eyes, uh, was sung by Art Garfunkel of Simon and Garfunkel fame, of course. Um, so, okay, right. So we're going to go and uh, have a look at it. And there's also a hill fort up there, uh, Ladle Hill Fort. So we're going to go and have a look at that. Now it's a bright day today, so it's been really great weather. So I think there might be quite a few people. But it actually leads on to another uh, trail, another byway, uh, which we're going to go and uh, do later on for another video. So we're going to check that out as well. Nice flat trail here, so this is this is good. I like it. I'm keeping my vibes down as well. I don't know what's coming in the opposite direction, and one I'm going to be flicked into my face. So. Basically, take me up the hill, and it's really right over the downs. This bit here, so it's really is open countryside, you know. Let's just see. Some very narrow tracks here, and just a. Uh, yeah, just covered by grass, so just, uh, just taking it easy there. Because you do tend to slot into these uh, trails or these ruts. Although, albeit shallow ruts, you know, you do tend to slot into them, so just going to be wary of the, of the route and just follow the route here. You've got a fact either bicycles or other motorcycles have been up here as well. And I do apologise if I sound like a bit like Darth Vader, heavy breathing, but it's just with the location of the mic. It's very close to my uh, to my mouth and I've got a face mask on as well, so that kind of impedes the breathing a little bit. So, so I know I do come across as sounding rather, you know, like deep throat on the phone type thing sometimes, but hopefully you, just, you can just ignore that and just, uh, you know, enjoy it for what it is. Right, so, it's, so this trail goes on for miles and miles here. into a bit of a clearing and sort of give you a really good idea of where I'm at, you know. Straight on, yeah. Yeah, 
beauty. I mean, look at where I'm at. It's just that, you know, these are the sort of downs. Well, so in the Berkshire Hampshire border here, you know. Just slipped into. Just wait till I come out of it again. There we go. Right. Yeah, you can't maybe you can't see if it's quite a camber here on this quite a slope on this trail here as well. So what I'm gonna do is just come up here to the flat ground. Let's see. It's a better option. See if I can get through. Okay, let's go and have a look. Wow. Wow, so basically this area here, just over the hill, this is Watership Down. I mean look at the view here, amazing. But this is Watership Down here. Right down right the side of the hill, goes all the way along here. And this is this the setting for the you know the great Norfolk by Richard Adams uh, about the, the group of rabbits. You know? Right, so, get out here, hopefully get a better view from the side, a little bit, we'll see. Yeah, not, so, not so much. So I wonder if it's this trail or this trail, I think it's... I think it's this way here. Wow. <coughs> Following the rocks all the way down. Tree roots and stuff. Lots of pheasants. Twisty trails, keeping your balance as well. That's key here. Beauty. Yeah, really nice. What a glorious day for this sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's basically, I mean, you know, what, what is Watership Down? It's just a hillside, but it's a very famous setting for, for the book anyway. So, and you know, you can walk it as well. You know, take, bring the family and go out for, you know, take your dog or whatever. So there's, um, you know, there's lots to, lots to do there. <coughs> right, okay. Off this bit here. Uh, straight over that bit. OK, 
Okay, leaving Watership Down area. And if you can see right down there, you see how much of a fall away it is the ground. That's this, so we're right on top of the ridge here. And this is a kind of a high plateau here. Really is a high plateau. It's a undulating uh, countryside and stuff. Beauty, right. Let's see where else I go here. Is it that way or that way? The trail goes this way. Nope, actually it goes... It goes that way, sorry. Can be confused there myself, right. That's the trail. There's a track there. I think I'm on the wrong side of the fence here, actually. Let me just see if it will take me onto the other side. No, it does go around to that wooded area there. And then it goes up to there somewhere. And I actually think I join it up here. I could have locked out here with this little shortcut. Let me have a look. The sun is right on my on my phone, so I can't really get a good handle. Oh yeah, okay. Where I am. <coughs> yep, turning right here. So here, right here, right in front of us now, this is uh, a tumulus. So this is a burial mound, uh, an ancient burial mound, or what do they believe is an uh, ancient burial mound. So there you go, this, this is it. So this is, well, this is man-made, but this is, you know, ancient man-made. So I was just telling you, it might have been a burial ground for one or two of, uh, you know, local people, whatever, but yeah. And these are dotted about all over the country, of course. You know, all, all over the world, I would assume, but you know, all over the country. Right. I say right on top of the, right on top of the plateau here. And the sun is right on my back here, so that's just great. So this area here, this is uh, right on top of the, the hillside. <coughs> so we're right on top, and this area here, all area here, you just have a look, is a hill fort. It's uh, an ancient hill fort right here, and you can walk around it, you can hop over the fence and walk around it if you need to. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic view. You can see the, the view you got to the south, all the open plains, and then the rolling countryside, and all the way down to the south coast, and then here, and the Berkshire plains, and then the hills. So basically, we're sitting right on top of a ridge. It dips down. This is a hill fort right on top of it. You know. This is Ladle Hill Fort, this one. Just look at the, look at it here, absolutely beautiful. I mean, getting a better view of the, the fort here, I suppose, and the, there, getting a better view of it. The ditch all the way around the rampart, and then obviously going down in the hills here. All right, let's see where else we can get to. We, because I'm a, uh, including you, the viewer, as it were, on this journey. 
Yeah, I do have a habit of saying we, unfortunately. I, I don't know where that's come from, but there you go. I mean, I love, I love forest riding, don't get me wrong, but I love this kind of riding where you just want to, you know, you just want to pull over, stop the bike, and just really just take in the view. I mean, the, what it is, it's just, you know, on a clear day as it is today, it's just, it's just fantastic, you know. <coughs> Beauty. We've got a shallow little rut here, but it's you know it's it's wide enough. I can I've got a good view of the verges of the rut, so I know on either side I can see it's relatively flat as well. So you know I'm I'm pretty happy with that. All right now, where does this go here? Um, yeah, that's right. Okay, let me just make sure which way it swings. Beauty. Oh, derelict uh, lean to shed. Yeah. And the countryside has changed, you know, dramatic. Well, it's changed in my lifetime as well, you know, 45. 50 years, you know, well, nearly 50 years old, and it's uh, it's changed so much in that time as well. You know, fields have got bigger, hedgerows have, you know, they're all dug up, you know, to open up fields and to make bigger fields. You know, ownership has changed, of course, you know, and that, that does a lot as well. The way farming, the way countryside is done, is used, land is used, has changed. You know, so there's you know, lots of, lots of stuff. So you can imagine in, you know, where we passed the tuminous back there, you know, obviously that was a, a burial mound for a particular person or, or couple or group of people, but they may have only occupied a very small area. <coughs> I don't know. Wow, and just look at this. My God, amazing. Wow, just, just wow. So there's no public right away to the left. Okay, well that's not where I'm going anyway, so let's go, this is still the public access. Trail. Perfect. Beauty. Amazing. Now I looked at Google Earth images actually for here and I couldn't actually see this track because obviously you're looking from a satellite image straight up and uh, it's obviously being masked by the trees <laughs> so I couldn't actually see it. So I assumed it actually went through the trees but actually it doesn't, it just goes by the side of it. I'll just make sure I'm going the right way. Yes, okay. Beauty. Now, I'm just wondering if this is if there's a trail to the right or to the left. I think it's the one to the right. That's yeah. <coughs> just make sure. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, just f Ooh, in a bit of a rut there. Nice. Well, this is this is a great little cutting, isn't it? You know, right, right through little gully right at the bottom. They've actually put some hardened gravel down here, right on the on the trail, which is actually really nice. 
looks really good as well. <coughs> Beauty. Uh, so almost coming to the end of this trail now. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Yeah. <coughs> Watership down and then the, the foothill fort. You know, sitting right on top of the right on top of the trail, right on top of the ridge line. Glorious view that we got today that I got today so uh, yeah all good all good in the hood right so now they're gonna have to be an exit point here isn't there all right there's an access point there all right Wow, that's it out on the road. Woohoo! Well, hope you enjoyed that. That was a really great ride. Ended up uh, coming out on the dual carriageway here. Um, so, actually, the mapping shows there's an underpass, which I have gone through a little underpass, but an underpass through the road, but actually, it's taken me over the top. Hello, right, so that's the end of the trail, Warship Down Trail, the Bright Eyes Trail. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's a great ride. I mean, you know, the weather today has been absolutely fabulous. But, uh, right, catch you on the next one, whenever that is. Cheers.